Hi everyone, this is Dan from Tech Game Tips. How are you all doing? Um, I've just recently installed Windows 10 on my laptop and I've been playing around with the Xbox One to Windows 10 game streaming, which is very nice. Um, the way it works is if you have an Xbox One and a Windows 10 based computer or tablet, you're able to uh, pretty much stream your Xbox One uh, console and games uh, to your Windows 10 PC if you are sat on the same network. Um, I thought I'd have a play and take that one step further, so I set up a remote connection between my home network and my laptop in the form of a VPN, um, and I've been able to get Windows uh, Xbox One and Windows 10 game streaming working between my home Xbox and my workplace. So at the moment we're currently sat at work, we're just sat in one of the conference rooms. As you can see, um, we're not at home, so the Xbox One is in a, is in a completely different location, and we've got uh, Windows 10 running on this Mac here, so we're just going to boot into Windows 10, and we're going to uh, going to show you all of the various bits that we're that we're talking about. Um, we've tested it already, and it, and it seems to work quite well, uh, mostly because my internet connection at home is quite good. It's about 150 meg down and and 10 meg up. Uh, which is pretty decent and also the internet connection here at work is 200 meg down and 200 meg up so there isn't really any issues of bandwidth um, and the wireless here is is quite good what i'm going to do firstly is show you that i am connected to the wireless i'm not going to connect to the vpn i'm going to click on it and show you that it's not connected at the moment there's the connect button um, i'm also going to load the xbox app so that you can see that it doesn't work because we're obviously at work at the moment and the xbox is at home um, just to clearly demonstrate that that, that is the case. Um, one thing to mention, you can actually turn on your Xbox through the Xbox app in Windows 10, which is pretty nice. Um, it works very well if you're sat on the same network and it will turn on your Xbox One and allow you to turn it on and play uh, your Xbox One if your Xbox is turned off or in the kind of standby mode that it, that it is in, in. What I mean by turned off is kind of the standby mode, so it'll turn it back on. Um, it doesn't seem to work when you turn the Xbox on remotely, for some reason that doesn't seem to doesn't seem to do the job. It only really works if you're in the same network uh, at the same place. So I turned my Xbox on when I left this morning. I'm going to show you that it, it will show the Xbox up in the list because it's already in the list of Xboxes. It thinks it's turned off at the moment. Um, I'm going to show you if I click turn on, it's not going to do anything. The Xbox is already on. Again, it's at home. It's not here. So I'm just going to click on it and it's going to throw us up an error just so you can see. Uh, and then when we connect in with the VPN, it's going to work just as normal, and there'll be no there'll be no difference really. Um, so any minute now, it should pop us up with a message. There we go. Unable to turn on your console. So we're going to close that, and we're now going to establish our remote connection in the form of our VPN. I just panned off to the side for for obvious reasons. Um, you can see here that it's connected showing that it's connected now to the VPN. So we're going to reopen the Xbox app, which is a lot quicker the second time around. Very nice dashboard. Um, it, it looks quite similar to the one you get on your Xbox One. I'm not going to spend the whole time talking about this. We'll probably cover that in another video. Uh, I'm going to click on the Connect to your Xbox button. It's going to show up my Xbox again. There it is. This time it gives us the option to connect. So now it's seen the Xbox. So we're going to connect to that. Give it a second for it to pop up the extra icons in order for us to stream. There we go. Now we're going to start streaming from my Xbox One at home to my Mac here at work. So you can see here, this is the Xbox dashboard. Um, it's pretty seamless, to be honest. Um, Quality-wise, it's, it's pretty much identical to what you would get at home. This laptop has a retina display, so you, you can notice a slight difference uh, because of that, uh, but in the main, it's it's pretty much exactly the same. I preloaded Forza to save you all the, the the weights on the loading screen, so we'll jump in and we'll show you how the gameplay is a little bit, so you can get a feel for what it's like. Fours are not a game I'm particularly good at. I 
but you can see this is pretty much lag free to be honest um, the gameplay is very smooth there is a little bit of a, a fraction of blockiness um, either in relation to the internet connectivity or, or the way that it's handling the streaming I've just crashed because I'm so good at Forza um, yes yeah, so you get a little bit of blockiness occasionally um, it's it's in relation to the way it must handle the the streaming from the Xbox to the to the to the laptop um, but in the main it's extremely responsive and it plays really nicely I'm literally just crashing into everyone right now anyway you get the general idea we'll come out of that Uh, you can actually turn the Xbox off from here. Again, it's pretty much exactly the same as the dashboard. If I turn it off from here, I won't be able to turn the Xbox on again. So I've just I just set my Xbox to stay on um, so that I can connect to it at any time during the day. Um, I would show you Destiny, but the, the loading screens can be a bit annoying. Um, I'll quickly show you Rayman so you can see. Uh, just so you get an idea of, of two different games. So we might cover a different game in another uh, in another video. Another thing, you, you have to obviously plug in the Xbox One controller to, to play the Xbox One through the Windows 10 um, Xbox app. If you don't have the controller plugged in, it, it throws you up an error message. I haven't tried to play with keyboard and mouse yet or anything like that. I don't, I don't think that's going to work, but um, you, do need, you do need an Xbox controller for this to work. I think the Xbox 360 controller works. I'm just using the Xbox One controller. Um, let's just jump straight in and show you a little bit of gameplay for Rayman. Is, this is really responsive. So yeah, anyway, you get the general idea. The, the gameplay is pretty smooth and, and all of the content is pretty good. Um, just to come out of this, I'm not gonna shut the Xbox down. Um, just click on stop streaming and then you're back to the dashboard. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, follow us on Twitter at Tech Game Tips and on our YouTube channel, Tech Game Tips. Thank you very much.